Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Sharik and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. Today is day 8 in our 30 day challenge. As I promised you, I have been uploading one lesson every single day for a period of 30 days. So just like I am challenging myself and uploading these lessons, let me invite you guys to challenge yourselves and try to follow these lessons and study every single day if you can. Of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box below. So this is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson to my Lebanese Arabic students. It's going to be a continuation of the two lessons we've done yesterday and the day before about the demonstratives. So today we will talk about the demonstratives in the negative form. So if you haven't seen my lessons yesterday and the day before, I will leave the links in the description box and somewhere here up so you can click on them. And I think let's begin. Actually, before we begin, um, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you find my lessons useful. Also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I upload lessons there too. And usually when I upload a lesson to YouTube, I go there and I upload lists of vocab and sentences that we use in our lessons. So make sure you follow me on those platforms as well because it might be useful too. Yalla, let's begin. I will turn my camera and show you my screen. See you! All right, guys, as I've mentioned, we've already covered the demonstratives in affirmative sentences. So I'm going to quickly skim through this and move to the next part because this part, the first two pages, you can find them in the description box if you haven't seen my lessons yesterday and the day before. But I'm going to do a quick revision of the questions in relation to demonstratives and then move to the negative forms. So let's begin with this question. Shuhaida. شو هيدا هيدي سيارة What is this? This is a car شو هيدا هيدا بيت What is this? This is a house شو هيدا هيدي كرسي This is a chair شو هيدي هيدي طاولة But here I made a mistake I said شو هيدي I should say shuhayda. Why? Because when I'm asking about the object, it means I'm not sure if it's masculine or feminine. So it's better if I use the question using the masculine form. So I should say shuhayda, even if the answer is hayde tawli. Hayda shibbek she. Is this a window? As we mentioned yesterday, she means thing, but here it kind of means is this a window at all? I think this is the closest translation to use. Is this a window at all? Um, Heida Bebshi, is this a door at all? Min Heide, Heide Binet, this is a girl. Min Heida, who is this? Heida Sabe, Min Heida, Heida Sheb, this is a young man. Min Heide, Heide Sabi, and here too there is a spelling mistake, it should be like this. Okay, Shu Heidol, what are these? Heidol fweke. Shu heidol. What are these? Heidol tieb. Or I can ask the other question and say, Heidol tieb she. Are these clothes at all? And the answer would be, eh, heidol tieb. Now, let's move to today's lesson. As you notice, the sentences and the pictures are not similar. So, for example, if I ignored the word mish here and I said, heide. Sabe, it's wrong because Heide is feminine, first of all, and Sabe means boy, and this is not a boy, this is a young woman. So that's why I used the negative sentence and I said Heide mish Sabe, mish Sabe, this is not a boy. So in Latin letters we write it this way Heide mish Sabe. Okay, and I can make the sentence longer and say Heide Sabiye. Heide Sabiye. This is a young woman. So Heide Mish Sabe. Heide Sabiye. This is not a boy, this is a young woman. The next sentence would be Heida Mish Babe. So Babe is a door, 
Heida is masculine, so Heida be means this is, a, this is a door. But in this case, if you look at the picture, this is a window, so Heida mish beb. And then we continue and we can say Heida shbeek, this is a window. Heida shbeek. And I can also write it in Latin letters and say Heida shbeek. So Heida mish. This is how you can write it in Latin letters. Heida mish beb. Heida shbeek. This is not a door. This is a window. The third sentence is Heidol, these. Fueke. Fueke means fruits. Heidol, fueke means these are fruits. But as you can see in the picture, these are not fruits, these are clothes. So that's why I used here Heidol, mish fueke. Heidol, tieb. So I can write it Heidol, mish Fueke. Heidol mish fueke. Dot. Heidol tib. These are clothes. So, this is one way of making sentences negative by using mish. Mish and mish. But something here that I should tell you about is that don't confuse mish to ma. Ma is when we want to make verbs negative, whereas mish is when we want to make nouns and adjective neg adjectives negative, okay? But we can also use mish with two verb forms. I'm going to tell you in a bit, okay? For now, memorize that we use mish in front of nouns and in front of adjectives, okay? In this case, sabe is a noun. That's why I said mish sabe. Babe is a noun. Mish babe. Let's say, for example, I said, um, let me use the adjective mabsut. Mabsut, yani happy. Mabsut. Mabsut. Written mabsut, like this. Okay? Mabsut, happy. If I want to say not happy or unhappy, I say mish mabsut. Not happy. This is the easy way of making sentences negatives with demonstratives. What if I didn't want to find the easy way out? In that case, we would replace the mish with manna. Manna, if it's feminine. So, initially I was saying, hey, the mish sabe, this is not a boy. But in this case, I used hey, the manna, she is not. So, manna is translated as she is not. You notice I said in the previous lesson that we don't have verb to be in the present. We don't have is. But we do have is not. We do have it. And is not in the present form is manna in the feminine form. Sorry. Manna. Okay. So, hiye manna sabe. Hiye manna sabe. I would write it M A N N A. Okay. And now, here I want to say this is not a door. Initially, we said Haida mish babe, right? But here we are saying Haida manno babe. I would write it manno with Latin letters. And it means he isn't or it isn't. We don't have it in Arabic. That's why we use she or he. So for example, here, it's a human being. We use she, of course. But if it was a feminine object, we, was, we were also going to use she. Okay? Because we don't have it isn't. We only have he isn't or she isn't in Arabic. So, Haida manno babe. This is not a door. Haida manno babe. This is not a door. Of course, I could have used Haida Mishbeb. It's perfectly fine to use either one of them. Okay, so again, Manna is she isn't, and Mannu is he isn't, and both of them as well mean it isn't because we don't have the pronoun it in Arabic. Now, when it comes to the plural form of is not, which is are not, it's Mannun, they are not. So, Haidol, Mish, Fueke, initially we said, right? 
In this case, we are saying Hayrul Mannun Fueke, and we will write it Mannun Fueke. These are not fruits, so I can say Hayrul Mannun Fueke or Hayrul Mish Fueke. Okay. So to quickly repeat this. Heide manna sabe, this is not a boy. Heida manno babe, this is not a door. And heidol mannun fueke, these are not fruits. Now, we have a full table of conjugation of I am not, you are not, he is not, she is not. I will quickly read through this and I will ask you guys to rewrite it in the comment box, either in Arabic or with Latin letters. I will start by reading the letter, Latin letters. Ana manne, I am not. Inta mannak. You see here, this is the ending that we are adding. Let me repeat. Ana manne, inta mannak. Inta mannik. You are not feminine. Huwe mannu, he is not. Huwe mannu. Hiye manna, she is not. Nehna manna, we are not. Into mankun, you plural are not. And hinne mannun, they are not. Let me read it with Arabic script. Ana manne, I am not. Inta mannak, you are not masculine. Inta mannik, you are not feminine. Huwe mannu. He is not. Hiye manna. She is not. Nehna manna. We are not. Into mankun. You plural are not. And hinne mannun. They are not. So if you memorize these endings, you can also use them elsewhere. I will tell you where later on. So memorize these endings for now, okay? The ones that I, uh, that I underlined, basically. Okay, so let's try to put this in a very, very brief sentence. For example, if I want to say, I am not here. Ana manne hon, I'm not here. Inta mannak hon, you are not here. Inta mannik hon, you are not here. Feminine. Huwe mannu hon, he isn't here. Hiye manna hon, she isn't here. Nehna manna hon. We aren't here. Into man kun hon. You plural aren't here. And hinne man hon. They aren't here. I wrote an important note here saying that don't use mish to make verbs negative. As I mentioned to you, if you want to make verbs negative, we use ma. We don't use mish. But we can use mish only with the present progressive form and with the future form. We still didn't do conjugations for now, but I just want to give you one very quick example. For example, Anna, am, bakul. I am eating. Anna, am, bakul. If I want to make this negative, I can use. The ma, as usual, with all verbs, ana ma am bekul. I am not eating, but because it's present continuous, I am eating. I can use ana mish am bekul, for example. Okay, ana mish am bekul. I am not eating. Ana ma am bekul. I am not eating. You can also use this with the future form. The future form of I will eat in Arabic is Ana rah ekul. Ana rah ekul. I will eat. You can say to make it negative Ana ma rah ekul or Ana mish rah ekul. They both mean exactly the same thing. I won't eat. Ana ma rah ekul. In this case, you drop the B. And Ana mish rah ekul. Also, you drop the B. We can talk about verbs in detail later on. For now, memorize that you can put mish in front of nouns and in front of adjectives. And finally, I wanted to mention to you what demonstrative we use for things or people that are not close to us and they are far. So we use haida to say this haida and haidak to say that. 
If the object is far. Heida, heidak. Heidak. But we can also pronounce it heidake. It's exactly the same meaning. Heidak or heidake. For example, heidake bet. That is a home. Or heidak bet. That is a home. The feminine form of this we said already is heide. Heide. But if we want to say that in the feminine form is heidik. Heidik. Pronounced heidik or heidike. The meaning doesn't change. It's exactly the same. Heidik or heidike. For example, heidik binet. That is a girl. Or heidike binet. That is a girl. And finally, the last one is Heidol. We mentioned before that Heidol is these. Heidol. If the object is far, we're not going to say Heidol. We will say Holik. Holik or Heidolik. Heidolik. So Heidolik. Holik, and we can also say holike, of course, and you can also say heidolike or holike. But for now, just memorize heidolike and holike. Those are the objects are not here. So, for example, if I say if the houses are far, I can say heidolike but. The plural of bet is but, so I can say heidolike but. Those are houses. When I say Heidol Butte, these are houses. Heidolik Butte, those are houses. Or Holik or Holike Butte, those are houses. I think that's it for today. I will now turn my camera and talk to you briefly before I say goodbye. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you found it useful and don't forget to refer to yesterday's lesson and to the lesson before. Make notes, repeat what I'm saying, repeat the sentences after me and make sure to write them down so your brain memorizes things. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Tschüss, bukra!